Hello, in this video today I'm here to show you exactly how data can be restored locally or to the cloud via the clone volume process of any backup data which you hold on the device or within Azure. So to begin I'll start off by showing you exactly how you go about restoring any files which may have been deleted or anything like that just from a local snapshot. So to get started, I've logged on to our Microsoft Azure portal and I've selected store simple and I'm just going to browse into the manager itself. I'm just going to show you the volume you want to restore. So I'm going to go into the device, into the volume containers. We've only got the one volume container there and it'll be this volume here, which I've got mapped just into this Windows server on site and it's got a few bits of data in there. So say someone goes and decides, oh, I'm gonna delete this file. So they go and they permanently delete this file from storage. And it's gone. So now I'm sure everyone's been in the scenario where the data has been deleted and they need to get it back. So to go about doing that, what we have to do is go back to our Azure portal browse to our manager and as you can see there's a tab which says backup catalog if we go into there and here you can look at any of the backups which have run and it will tell you exactly what backup data it's got whether it be locally or on the cloud so as I said I'm just going to do a local restore first so if I select the daily local snapshot backup policy and you can see I've got a volume there just called fs underscore vol1 and we'd like to restore that file which we've just deleted. So to do that, all we've got to do is highlight that volume and towards the bottom you can see there's just a clone button. So we'll click that. And now we choose which device that will reside on. But because it's a local snapshot, we don't get the option to restore this to any other device than the physical device itself. So we'll leave it as it is. And we'll just have to give it a different name. So we'll just call it fs underscore vol1 underscore restore. And we'll continue. Then this next section, we can change whether the storage is to be presented straight back to the same host, or we can present it to another. So I'm just going to give it back to the same one and complete that. It's now going to go away and start that clone job. If we click the view job button, that will take us to the jobs tab on the manager and we can monitor its progress as it runs through that clone. And it won't take long at all to complete. As you can see, it's just done now. I have shortened that for the video, but if we hit the details button, you can see it did only take 23 seconds just to restore that volume. So now that's completed, just to confirm it has restored that volume, if we browse back to the device itself, browse into the volume containers, it'll still reside within that same volume container. And you can see it just there, our restored volume, and it is online and ready to go. So because I've already mapped that to the same host, all we've got to do is just browse to the same server and because it's already aware, all we have to do is within disk management, just perform a rescan of the disks. And you can see it there, it's got the new disk. So we're just gonna have to bring that online. And that's it. So it's created the volume, same name, everything else. And we'll just explore that. And as you can see with the old data on the left and the restored volume on the right, we've got that deleted file which we want to restore. So all we've got to do then is simply just copy the data into the current volume. And that completes the clone process from a local snapshot. So then once you've restored all the data from your local snapshot, 
all you have to do is you can just take that restored volume offline, delete that volume and not have to worry about it again. That backup data will still reside on the device, so it's there should you need it again. But now, say for example, the server's OS itself has become corrupted and the server is no longer usable, and we want to restore the whole volume to another Azure VM or to another host. What we can do now is we can utilize a cloud snapshot and we'll restore that into an Azure VM so it's accessible via that server. So to do that, all we have to do is browse back to our Azure portal. And if we go back to the manager, And again, we'll go into the backup catalog. So just to mention, whilst we're in this backup catalog, obviously you can filter the data because this is just a demo device. There's not really much in there. Obviously there's gonna be a lot more information and a lot more backups which have run on a production device. So you can filter that by device, the backup policy, the volume, and any dates and times. So it's already got all the information we need for now. So I'm just going to leave it as it is and we'll select the weekly cloud snapshot this time. And again, we'll just highlight the volume and we'll click the clone button towards the bottom. So because this was a cloud snapshot, I now have the option when I try and clone the volume to restore this to a different target device. So as you can see, I've got my physical source device there or I've got my virtual device. So I'm gonna choose the virtual device and I'm gonna give this a friendly name of just fs underscore well one underscore virtual dr. And we'll proceed to the next step. And here, because I've cloned this to my virtual device, I'm not gonna to want to share that back to the same host. So what we'll do is you can either add a new host into the ACR or I'm just gonna use one which I've set up already, which is our Azure server. So I'll continue that. It's gonna go away and create that job. So again, if you hit the view job button, and once you're in the jobs view, you can actually monitor the progress of this running. So again, I've just shortened that sequence just for the purposes of the video. But if we go into that details tab, you can see it did only take a minute or so to complete. And just to confirm it's done, if we go into our virtual device and browse the volume containers, you can see it's now created that volume container which that volume we've just cloned resided in. So if we go into there, you can now see that cloned volume just there. And it's online. So now all we have to do is browse to our Azure VM, which I provisioned this storage for. And again, on a Windows Server, all we have to do is just rescan the disks within disk management. And there you have it. That volume is now online and ready. So if we explore that just to make sure the data is there, which it is. And that's it. That server is now good to go with the data that used to reside on the now defunct server. And you can use that and... When you need to, you can always fail that back to a physical server once you've sorted the initial issues. And that's all there is to it. That's how you go about cloning a volume to restore any data or a volume itself from a local or a cloud snapshot. So thank you very much.